All right, so I got a lot of uh, emails and some comments and whatnot uh, that they just kind of want to know what sounds I pick because I guess they watch those drumming covers that I do uh, and and whatnot. And, uh, you know, I talk about this kid a lot. And uh, I guess some people like the uh, the reviews I did and the, what I have to say. I'm no expert here, but, uh, you know, I'm still learning this kit just like anything else because it isn't a real acoustic kit. So... Uh, I'm going to make a quick video here. Well, I'm going to try to make it quick. I'm going to try to use the GoPro and go, you know, I, I apologize for the GoPro because it doesn't focus. So I'm going to just give you the sounds here and, uh, you know, what I have programmed in here and what I mainly use. Now, uh, a lot of the sounds are, you know, geared towards rock, metal. So I, don't, I only use one kit. That's the funny part about this. I'm going to sit down. And uh, I only use one kit, and it's and it's uh, it's it's loosely based off the Big Bird kit. Pretty much all the drums are the Big Bird uh, drums and whatnot. You know, you got the snare. I, I put it on the uh, the speaker too, so you know it's better. The, the sound it sound it sounds better direct, but for the purpose of this video, we're gonna just go crude here, and just I'll show you the sound. So I got the snare. It's Big Bird. Big Bird Tom. You know, it sounds a little shitty here. I wouldn't normally play it with these speakers, but I had to make it so you guys can resemble, you know, you can hear just a little bit. But then the uh, the rim. And then uh, the rims here. Flash. And then another cymbal. And then on the Tom, I got a China, the floor Tom down here. It's a little brighter than the one up top. See? And then I just got a bell over here on the rim. Okay, splat and then the, the, the ride crash, and then the left. Hi-hat. Alright, so that is uh, those are the sounds, and uh, I'm gonna go over them briefly here. Oh, I forgot the kick too. Okay, as you can see, nothing complicated, just the rock kit, and it's pretty much all based off the Big Bird. So here's where we go in and, uh, you know, do it. Apologize for the lighting in this GoPro camera because it doesn't focus. So it is what it is. So make sure you got the note chase on because when you have that on, you'll be able to, uh, when you hit the toms or the cymbals, it'll come up. See? You hit the snare. Yeah, that turned off. You won't know what's going on. So, I'm trying to hold the camera here and do this. So I'm gonna go. Uh, you know, you, you can go hit the the regular preset button. That there there's the Big Bird kit, but you can sc scroll th through the hundreds of kits here. Select what you want, obviously. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go. I I use the the Big Bird kit, and uh, I customized it. So. I'm going on to the, the, uh, the I'm going to choose the uh, user. So you see I hit F4. Now, you know, all your custom kits, I customize, customize a few in here. I like that Birch Rock kit, but mainly it's around the Big Bird. And this is this main kit. I labeled that. That's what I use. So I'll go in here and, uh, you know, I'm on the kit now. Now I want to go in and, and get the, uh, show you what samples I use. So I'm going to hit the voice and then this, this screen comes up. Uh, it is GoPro. It like tilts. It's weird. I'm gonna have to go like that. Okay, that's better. So I gotta hold it to an angle. Um, so anyway, there's there's layer uh, A and it layer B. I you know most of the stuff's on layer A. So on the snare, let's hit the snare. You can see the snare head will come up. Then I take it one step more. I want to go into that instrument. I want to go and hit the F4 button over the instrument. You know you hit the buttons over the tabs there. So instrument. Now I'm gonna go and just uh, use the arrow key, right arrow key, and go into the the instrument uh, section. See, now it's in there. So it should come up when I hit it. Yeah. That's the hi-hat, I just hit the hi-hat. I wanna show you how it changes. So back to the snare. That's what it is. It's the, uh, it's the Big Bird Snare Center. So that's what this sounds like. Big Bird Snare Center. 
slight reverb on it, you know, works for me. I kind of experimented with a lot of other snare sounds. That's the one that I like. That's the one I use. You know, when I go in and mix, I'll put some, I'll put, I'll put it like a slight plate reverb on there. But, you know, I, you know, again, I use that iRig because I don't have my studio set up. You know, I have everything boxed up and this thing can go direct out. So I can really get in there and mix the shit out of this. I can get the drum sound that I want. But this is pretty much raw. Straight out of the box, which is phenomenal with this kit, okay? So that's the snare. Back to the snare. You know, works for me. I like it. Okay, nothing complicated. It's the big bird snare. Now let's go up to the tom. Now which one's that? Big Rocker 2, that's what comes up. So I use the Big Rocker 2. Okay, for that. Going to the right rack tom. That one, that's weird, it's none. Now you gotta go into the layer, and it's the Big Bird, it was on layer two. Layer B. One, two, I just call it two, it's B. But that one there is the Big Bird Right Rack Tom. Write these down if you want them, if you want to know. Okay? So let's go down to the floor. And that should come up. That's on layer, uh, that's on layer A. So I got to go back to layer A. And there it is. That is the Big Bird Floor Tom. The Big Bird Floor Tom. This fucking focus sucks. I'm sorry. But you get the idea, okay? So now let's go back over here to the far floor tom. See, it sounds like shit through the thing because I have too much, I haven't turned up too much gain, but you know, it doesn't sound like that in the ears. It sounds a lot better. Okay? So that one is the big bird floor tom. Okay? Right there. So that's where, uh, and his GoPro, it's weird. You tilt it to the right, it like it's all funky. So I have to like tilt it to the left to make it whatever. Okay? So uh, and then the kick, let's go to the kick. It's punchy again, it sounds better in the headphones and direct. So that one is the big bird kick. Big bird kick right there. So as you can see, all the all the uh, drums just based off that uh, big bird. Simple, that's the one I like, that's the one I use. So moving up, let's move up to the cymbals up top, you know, and then I'll, 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 I got cymbals programmed on the rims like I went over, okay? So we'll, we'll do that last. So let's start with the hi-hat. That's my hi-hat. Close. Okay. So there it is, it's again, not complicated, the damn Big Bird hi-hat edge. That's what it is, okay? And then the Big Bird hi-hat pedal when I step on the pedal. And then, let's see, the closed is, yep, Big Bird hi-hat edge. So everything's on this Big Bird, okay? Sorry again how crude this is. I wish uh, I had a better camera here, but GoPro's kind of limited. Uh, and my cell phone, it just takes forever to, to focus, so. You get the idea. So let's move up to the left. Crash. That's programmed. Once that comes up. So that one right there is the Amp Room CR2 Edge. That's the one I use. So you gotta go scrolling and find that, okay? Uh, let's see, so then we go over to the right. Crash. A little darker. And that one is the CRZ 18 bow. Again, it's not focusing, but whatever. Okay, so that's one I like. Got a little bit brighter here, got a little bit darker over here. Uh, let's go to the big ride, the 22 inch guy. So the, let's, let's start with the crash, the edge. That one is a paste 22 inch 2002 crash. That's what I use, okay? Right there. And then the, the, the stick. 
I use the Pace 22 inch 602 bow, okay? There it is. And then the bell, I ha this is the one where I had to experiment for a while to find a bell that I like. And even though I'm, I might even change it again because you know, it's, it's dark, it's a little bit darker, but that is a, that's the RDZ 20 inch dark bell. Okay. And again, you got to go in and, uh, you know, find those. So, and then I got the China programmed up here. Oop, I think I hit this thing back, so I hit it. Okay. So it comes up as uh what the fuck? No, that, that's not. What the fuck here? It's a big bird, it's the big bird China. There we go. It's the big bird China. There's the airlines, the big bird on here. It's just, I just love that kit. I, you know, and then, uh, so that, that's the symbols up top. Now I got a splash here, which is on the rim. That is a Zildjian 10 inch splash a, okay. Let's, uh, I got another, uh, crash here on the, on the rim. See how, uh, see how responsive that is. So that one is the Big Bird Brilliant Crash. Okay, I think I just tweaked that a couple semitones uh, lower than the one up here. <laughs> nope, I'm sorry, that was my paste up top. So the one down here again, that is the Big Bird Brilliant Crash, okay? Down below, we're almost done, I swear. Did I hit the, uh, the kick? Let me hit the kick. That's the Big Bird, I think. It, yeah, it's Big Bird Kick. That's all that is. The kick is the big bird kick. Nothing really fancy. I'm gonna go with the rim here. It's a china. A little bit brighter, as you can tell, than the one up top. It's trashier. But that one is the china. It's another Zildjian. It's an 18 inch trash edge. Zildjian, okay? Zildjian 18 inch trash edge. And then I got the bell here on the rim programmed here. That, oops, is that layer A? Let me see something here. Yeah, so that's on, that was on layer A. So that's the, uh, the it's under, you gotta go in the, uh, the percussion the ethnic to find that, and it's the toke to open. So, so that, that, that's the kit, and uh, that's uh, what I mainly use. Thought I would just share that with you because some of the people were wondering what that what 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 do you use your kits? I like this one. I like this one. Yeah, I, they're all pretty good. The rock kits, but I I just like the Big Bird. Uh, but also, two people asked me like, are you gonna like you can like take a symbol here and split it out, maybe put it in here, and then you know you can add symbols. But really, I don't have any use for. I hit this one very rare, so it's fine for me down here. This china, I may, I mainly fucking slam on this one up here. So I don't need to split that one out and, and buy another uh, a pad. So the only two maybe that I would do is add two more symbols up top, maybe one here, maybe move this one over a bit and have you know two more in here. You can put the splash, but I don't use it that much, so it really wouldn't justify the expense uh, of, of splitting this out. But this is probably the only one maybe I would buy eventually, but I don't need to, you know, just so I could have another crash maybe in the middle or shift everything over or whatever. But that that's what I would do. I mean, you can add as many, you can, you can split out all these rims if you want. You can add one, two, three, four symbols up top and you know, or don't, you don't even have to use the rims. Like some people don't even need these extra symbols, but I, I kind of do for like accents and whatnot, you know? It's very responsive, I, uh, I'm a splash. Now I did have a cowbell pro programmed in there a while ago. I never used it. I think I used it for like one song. So in that situation, I would just go, uh, let me go back to the to the kit. I go, you hit, get to the home button, you hit the kit. I go back to my main kit. And then I would go maybe program, if I wanted the cowbell in here, I would, you know, I want this exact same kit I have, but only I want the cowbell though from, from maybe a, a specific song or whatever. More cowbell! Maybe if Will Farrell was over. Just kidding. 
But I would, you know, then I would program the cowbell and I would save this as like main kit two or main kit cowbell, whatever. So you can put, you can put as many as you want in there for anything. Maybe I want to change up the snare. You know, just change that up. Then I just put maybe a main kit three snare, you know, because I'm not going to do anything major. But certain songs, you know, require different uh, uh, sounds, obviously. You all know that. So, yeah, I want to maybe... Uh, program experiment with this more i really haven't dove in this thing much at all which i want to pull like maybe the birch kit i want to experiment with that maybe save that one maybe experiment with playing that one but you know i really don't get in here and uh it's fun to dick around with a lot of these go back to the kit and then go to preset see i'm going to get out of my uh custom s section so i'm going to go to the preset this is where you scroll through and you find all your you know i kind of like the uh the birch rock kit Another guy said he liked the uh, the Maple's pretty cool, but another guy I forget he said he's Rocker Fifty Five. I forget what it was. It was this rocking. I forget what he said, but that one that one was pretty cool too. So, but I really don't fool with the with the sounds in here. It's kind of like a waste, but I just like what I like. And you know, if I fool around, I'll maybe you know like Ray Jazz or whatever, or some like ethnic kits are in here are pretty cool. Or go back if you want to play like some Phil Collins in the '80s. Get you know that you can mimic that shit. But, uh, yeah, so, uh, you know, it's, it, this thing sounds great for my limitations on the mixing, as you probably heard some of the drum covers. They're not, like, super mixed, but it's about the best I could do without having a Pro Tools rig and getting in there and EQing everything and really mastering everything. But this iRig thing is phenomenal. And uh, also, too, Lone Star Beer, fucking state of Texas. This beer is awesome. Try it. We're getting Yingling Lager here, the famous, the oldest brewery in America. From Pennsylvania, we finally got it here in, in Texas, which is awesome. And there's another beer called Shiner that's pretty goddamn good too. So anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give me a thumbs up. Give me a like. Sub hit that damn bell and, uh, you know, subscribe and whatnot. But uh, if this is useful, hopefully it was useful. If it wasn't, well, then, you know, whatever. Uh, give me, you know, Don't watch my shit. I don't know what to tell you. Give me a thumbs down. But, uh... Yeah, I, I got an issue with that uh, that uh, flam pad, as you saw. So I hope you guys are leaving the comments about that. And uh, I'm gonna give away that ebook uh, for the for the guy that I can for whoever gives me the the most logical freaking thing here. Then I decide what it is. I'm like, okay, so give me your email address. I'll give you that ebook for free. So that's it, guys. Till next time.